finally it's turning and I'm so relieved. I'm back on track. You ready to rock and roll, Jesse? All right, let's go, let's go. Come on, guys. This is all done by memory. I'm at the past. It has to look exactly how I pictured it. So I need this decoration to be on point when it hits that table. Chop, chop. This whole challenge is about replicating a dish from memory. And if we don't get every little detail right, then we could be in trouble. I can just feel the minutes ticking by. I know that we're starting to fall behind. Just wait, just wait, I'm writing it. The thing with being a captain is if you fail, it's on your shoulders. So I want to make sure we get it right. All right, I need you on fish. You start on the mirror part. As soon as I finish writing down the dish, I get the main team on the fish and the consomme. There's so much time and effort that go into them. I got the agar, yeah? Yeah, good, yeah, agar. I got the gelatin sheets as well, gold. Yeah, please. I'm on the ice cream. I'm the vice captain and I'm in charge of dessert. It is a cherry pit ice cream with a dark chocolate ganache and smoked cherries. To make this ice cream is absolutely a lot of pressure points. The cherry pits give the almondy flavor to the ice cream one of the crucial elements. Jenny, you don't worry about anything. Just stop hitting the cherry. Yeah. Cool. You need to pit all of them. I need a lot of pits. Thank you. Do it as fast as you can. My first job is to pit all the cherries. Thank God for the little mechanism that helps us do that. The cherries are used in many ways. So normally you would throw out the pips, for example, but we're keeping them all today. And I'm just going to be really delicate and work fast as well, because we need a lot of them. Come on, boy team. Come on, boy team. Push it. Any questions, let me know. Me and Reese went out to the Royal Mail Hotel and that was amazing. I got everything down, I remember everything, and I'm focused, I just want to get it done. Loving the concentration, loving the fact that you're all working together. Is this a good sign? I don't know, but you have 90 minutes to go. Come on! Come on, Red Team, let's go! Come on, Gina! Woo! Come on, Blue Team! Always on the fish, I love it. I always look flustered, but, um, but I think we're on track. Gee, this is really art. You've got to remember plate ups, recipes, methods, techniques, all sorts of things. You think when you're cooking in your home kitchen from a recipe book, how many times you re refer yeah, yeah. the a recipe lot. book to confirm? And we're not just talking about any old recipes. This is Rob and Wiccan's food at the Royal Mail. We know that it's detailed. You know what this challenge is for me? I've got to remember flavours. I've got to remember flavours and try and use as much of my cook's intuition. That's what you've got to nail. Come on, dessert, guys. It's quite interesting to cook something that I haven't seen, but it's fun. Rhys communicated the recipe really well. Very clear. His memory is incredible. Absolutely. He has incredible memory. The dessert that we're memorising today is a poached apricot with a meadow sweet mousse and a lemon, thyme and grain cluster. I've allocated Samira onto the cluster and with Huda, I'm going to get her onto the apricot. You need at least 30. Yeah, I've got 36. Six. The main element that I want to work on today is the mousse. I'm just getting the mousse together. I thought the mousse is like the most, well, the crucial component of the dish. So I'm going to work on it just so I know I can replicate it right. I've never actually tasted meadow sweet before, let alone heard of it. It tastes and smells like this. Oh, yeah. So that's the mousse. It tastes like meadow sweet, which I've never tasted before, and it's quite earthy and sweet and very Australian flavour, like, if that makes sense. So... It's very Australian outback. Yeah, it's very native, hey? Yeah. I love this. Like, I really want to do a good job of it, and I want to make it really hard for the judges to even decide which one's David's and which one's mine. So I'm going to set it now. The ice cream's taking much longer than expected. I'm so stressed. I really don't want to let the team down, and then we start the overall elimination. I'm not touching the sides here. Jesse! Oh, my God. The ice cream's turning, guys. It's turning. Yeah. Let's push, let's push! Finally, it's turning and I'm so relieved. I'm back on track. You ready to rock and roll, Jesse? All right, let's go, let's go. Come on, guys. This is all done by memory. I'm at the past. It has to look exactly how I pictured it. So I need this decoration to be on point when it hits that table. All right? I'm, like, screaming at everybody. You're the crumb. Yeah. You're the cherries. You do the curd. And I just feel a little bit awful for doing that. 
feel like today I've been so grumpy with everybody. <laughs> Jess, this is what you need to be doing. It's just my grumpy face. No, we love it, Jess. Chill out. It looks beautiful. You got this. Come on, Jess. Hey. Come on. Jess, they're looking amazing. I'm so happy we finally got the dessert on the plate. I'm no, just I so don't. stoked. I feel weird being so angry. <laughs> I feel like I have done enough, but it all comes down to the flavor of the ice cream. I'm just hoping that it was just enough. How close are you? I think we're very close. All right. Wow. Wow, it's great. It's all smiles on the dials today, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm so happy. Jesse did amazing on that. Good stuff, all right. Off you go. We'll find out how it does clean up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the look of it. Um, can smell the smokiness of the cherries, uh, and it looks wonderful. What do you reckon, Robin? It looks really good. Again, they've got all the elements there. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's a, a really good job. It's pretty close, isn't it? It looks remarkable. Right, let's taste. Dave, in terms of their ice cream, the 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 cherry pip ice cream. What do you think? I, I think it's amazing they pulled it all together and got it on the plate. I think maybe the, the ice cream is a little rushed. Really. Maybe not cooked as long. The flowers is a little darker. Um, so maybe a couple of little things there. But it's, it is quite a uh, tricky ice cream. I think the flavour thing is definitely, uh, you know, not cracking those cherry pits far enough. Like, it's a pretty fine line. I like the cherries. The cherries have got a really nice smoke to them. The smoke on the cherries is fantastic, and that kind of little cherry gel underneath is great. But it's only because we have the advantage of sitting there with the original yeah. and comparing side by side that we can find those tiny little things. So yeah. I think overall, really good job. Yeah. Let's get the final dish in. Let's get the red team's dessert in. Samira? Samira? Where's that crumb? Huh? Samira, get it. Yeah, Reese. OK, behind, behind. Quick. Samira's only just getting the second batch of clusters out of the oven. These need to be perfect or we're going to be in trouble. Is that good? That was better. That was better. better. OK, cool. I'm just so relieved. The second batch of the clusters are looking a lot better. The meringue's holding the grains together perfectly. I'm just so glad I followed my instincts on this one. Good job, Sammy. OK, come on, guys, get moving. Come on, guys, this is the home stretch. So the first thing to go on the plate is the quenelle of the mousse. I'm really, really happy with it. They're beautiful. Yeah, look, they're perfect little domes. Service, please. I think it looks very similar to the dish this morning. Um, I just hope it is. Like, it's been a while since I tried it. I've been up in the sky, so I might be a bit confused, but it tastes really good, so I'm happy. So, Lisa? Yep. What do you reckon? I think it looks beautiful. Reese did a great job, and we're really proud of it. So, should we find out? Uh, yeah. Here's the moment of truth. Ready? Pop it. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'd say you're done good. <laughs> Lisa, get out of here. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. It looks bright. You, you know what I think is really funny? That looks like it's been planted by Reese. I mean, it looks like a Reese dessert. Yeah. So he's got a great skill with desserts, and he's just starting to get get his own his own look. Yeah. To how he plays up. So he's, he's put a little bit of spin on your work, which I, which yeah. I kind of like. But yeah, look, looks looks really vibrant. This is the tightest decision we think we've had so far in the competition. And to split you, we had to ask ourselves one very simple question. 
who brought us the dish that most closely resembled Robin's dish in terms of flavor, look, and technique. The dish that Robin would be most happy to put across the pass at the Royal Mail Hotel in Dunkeld was the Red Team's dessert. So, Red Team, you win. Congratulations.